Hey guys, this is a quick video on top successful prism shots in Selectera. 1. Shadow Ray Shadow Ray is the name given to the first ever prism shot we ever saw in series by our mutual master. It is a fusion shot of mega shade which represents the shadow and the white boondog which represents the light ray. Master Shane shoots this fusion shot against Black who is later revealed to be Twitch. So when shot together, mega shade and white boondog represents yin and yang and shoots a beam which is pure combination of two different slug powers. It's like a pure combination of slug powers. A fusion shot? They are also shot once again after the battle and they took away injured Master Shane and disappeared. 2. Nova Ball The second successful fusion shot is from the same episode The Unbeatable Master again. After Master Shane's goodbye, Eli gets angry at Black and uses her blaster with Burpee and Jules, which forms a blast of Nova Fire and Bold Electricity and so is the name. 3. Magma Blade Magma Blade is the first ever successful fusion shot with the double barrel. Magma stands for Forge Midless Magma and Blade for Precious Blade. Shadow Clan helps Eli to understand Slug Auras. With the help of Enigma Slug, Eli finds Pressure and Forge Melter from a perfect combination. This Magma Blade fusion shot is able to take down Black's Beast Train, which didn't get a scratch even though Shin Gang tried so hard to stop. This fusion shot is really a goosebumps moment. 4. Supernova Supernova is named given to the fusion shot of Pastro and Infernus in episode Eagles by Night and it is used to take down the eel. None of the slugs were able to hit the eel until it turned to solid state. But even after it reached solid state, it is so powerful. And the two weaknesses of eel are the light and fire. So eel shoots the fusion shot of Pastro light and burpee fire from a supernova which successfully took down the eel. 5. Electrosphere Electrosphere is fusion shot of Tejolink's electricity and detergents spike spheres. We saw it in the episode Lightwell. Eli gets attacked by armored creature inside Lightwell. As it is armored all over, even a strong gramstone couldn't hit it. Then Eli used the fusion shot of Dotachin and Tejolink, which formed the electric spheres against it and took it down. 6. Magma Strike Magma Strike is the fusion shot of Infernus and Armor Shield seen in the episode Upgrade to take down Black Titan. When shot together, Banger, the Armor Shield, made a boulder and Bopi covered it with fire, making it a striking of Magma Boulder and hence the name. 7. Nitro Bubble Nitro Bubble is fusion shot of Bubbleon and Infernus. It's one of my favorite and also underrated fusion shot. The main reason all other fusion shots so far are used to attack, while this is used for defense. In the end of episode Mission Improbable, the Shane gang are trapped and they need to get past the sea to escape from lack. And Burpee suggests to use double barrel along with bubble. That fusion literally makes a flying bubble which took Shane gang out of there very smoothly. We usually hear the word nitro for rockets and this fusion is no less than a rocket I feel. 8. Inferno Slam Inferno Slam is fusion shot of Infernus and Ramshun. This is used against Game Master in episode The Drill of Game. It is strong enough to take Game Master's container, which was harder to break, and every time his luggage is shot, it just got observed. But finally, Inferno Slam broke it and freed all the slugs. 9. Sabolo Sabolo is fusion shot of Polaro and Pressure. It's also the last fusion shot of First Era in episode Light as Day. In the starting of episode, Eli's Polaro and Treasure were upset they couldn't transform as a Megamorph and Eli motivates them. Eli's accelerator charge went down during fight with Black and Eli used this fusion shot of Polaro and Treasure which saved the day and also motivated the slugs. When shot together, the Treasure slug just becomes twice and the attack becomes 2x the usual of the Treasure. 10. Dog and Fandango This fusion shot doesn't have a particular name. Fusion shot of Dog and Fandango is used to heal Master Leon in episode Return of Eastern Champion. The reason for the fusion shot is Dog couldn't save Leon alone, and as Leon energy is absorbed by Ghoul Fandango, Shadow Clan suggests to use the fusion shot of Fandango and Dog. It finally worked, bringing back Leon to life. 11. Grenix Slam Grenix Slam is the last fusion shot we saw in the series. It is the fusion of 
rams down and a grenade which brings down the bomb just to the place where shooted coming a base which helps to get cover during battle in the last episode of into the shadows which is wolves and monsters shen gang needs a cover and dela uses this fusion shot to get that cover there are other fusion shots which i didn't mention in this video which are flopped in case you want to watch them also check out my video on top 5 fusion shot flops Comment down which is your favorite fusion shot among these. Thanks for watching.